All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for SmackDown Review for February 24th, 2023. It was a decent show. Uh, no Roman Reigns on the show, but the rest of the bloodline was on, so it always makes it better. Uh, surprising uh, Dominic uh, Mysterio and Rhea Ripley showed up. They were spread out through the show and made the show better. I think uh, they had about two or three segments. And then, uh, yeah, so outside the bloodline, that was they were probably the second best thing on the show. Uh, especially Dominic because he was in more segments or he had the one segment with uh, the extra segment with Ray in the ring. But yeah, I thought it was a decent SmackDown. Everything else was just whatever besides those two things being on the show. So yeah. Uh, all right, let's get to it. Uh, first up, we got in, uh, in the back, backstage segment, Kayla Braxton is interviewing Jimmy Uso. He shows up. Uh, he says he hasn't spoken to Jay Uso, texted him, called him, couldn't find him. But he says he can meet me inside the ring. Oos. All right. Uh, first match, we got Braun Strowman, Ricochet, and Madcap Moss versus Imperium. Gunther, uh, Giovanni Vinci, and Levick Kaiser. Richie had a clothesline on Ricochet, and then Kaiser punches Strowman. And he tries to get in the ring. The ref stops him. And then uh, Imperium attacks Ricochet. Just beat the shit out of him. And then during the match, about halfway through, uh, Drew McIntyre comes out. Uh, Braun Strowman gets a tag. He cleans house. And then Gunther gets tagged in. And then Moss gets the tag. Uh, Gunther hits a German on Moss. And then Gunther hit a powerbomb on Moss with a three count. After the match, uh, Viking Raiders come out and attack Drew McIntyre, and then Sheamus comes out to help him. And then Braun Strowman pretty just he just fucking runs through everybody. He does a uh, like a shoulder tackle through everybody. It's like four or five guys. So that was it for that. Uh, so it looks like Drew is gonna challenge Gunther at WrestleMania. Maybe Sheamus gets added to make it a triple threat. That's probably what they're gonna do. Uh, next up, we got a segment in the back with uh, Santos, Escobar, and Rey Mysterio. And then Dominic and, and uh, Rhea show up. Uh, he says, in prison, if you don't back up what you say, you get dealt with. To Santos, he said he was going to teach him a lesson or something. Every week he's got a message about prison or whatever. Uh, and then we got another uh, segment in the back. With the uh, Uso or with uh, Jimmy Uso and Paul Heyman and Solo Sokoa. He said, Jimmy says, ever since Montreal loose, it's been different. And then Heyman says, uh, Solo will stay in the back with me. And then he's, you can handle it, uh, Uso to Uso, man to man. And then uh, we got next up in the ring, LA Knight segment. Elliot Knight says he came here to make money by going to WrestleMania. And then he would just ramble about other stuff. Uh, like LA, you can't have uh, LA WrestleMania without LA Knight or some shit. And New Day comes out. Xavier Woods says Kofi created the greatest WrestleMania moment. Uh, I don't think that's the greatest WrestleMania moment. He's very biased when it comes to that. Uh, and LA Knight says, I don't know about your, or I don't care about your moment. And then uh, Kofi challenges LA Knight to a match. And then, uh, so Kofi hit a diving splash off of on uh, LA Knight's back. And then LA Knight dropped Kofi on the top turnbuckle. And then he catapulted Kofi into the bottom rope. And they hit a flying shoulder tackle for a two count. LA Knight uh, tossed Kofi in the air and slammed him down for a near fall. And then Kofi hit the Trouble in Paradise for the win. Just whatever. Don't care about the New Day. So uh, LA Knight went from feuding with... Hopefully this doesn't turn to a feud. He feuded with Bray Wyatt. Now he's feuding with the New Day. Hopefully this doesn't build to a match. This is pointless, the New Day. Uh, next up, we got Charlotte Flair and Rhea Rip. Or this was Charlotte Flair and Dominic segment. Supposed to be Rhea Ripley. Uh, Charlotte Flair calls Rhea to the ring and Rhea doesn't show up. She asks if her if she is afraid, and then Dominic Mysterio comes out and he says, You can't talk to Rhea that way. 
And then Charlotte Flair tells Dom to tell Rhea to come out and face her like a woman. Dominic says Flair sounds jealous of Rhea because of her rising popularity. And then he says the her that uh, Dom and her are both second second generation stars who knew who know what it's like to be better than their fathers. Yeah, that's not true. Uh, he calls Ray a deadbeat father who messed him up, which put a chip on his shoulder. And he says, when Rhea beats you, she'll know her father was right in knowing that she isn't good enough. And Flair says her father could still go even if, if he was here. He would kick his ass since he isn't here. He was going to beat him up. And then Rhea Ripley comes out for a stare down with Flair. And that's pretty much it for that. They were building up as a segment between Rhea and Charlotte Flair, but... It was really Dominic and Charlotte in the segment. So, yeah, I don't care about that match. Uh, Flair versus Rhea. Don't really care about that. Uh, next up, we got uh, Shayna Baszler. Shayna Baszler defeating Nat and Natalia. You don't really care about that. Uh, next up, we got this uh, Firefly Funhouse segment. I don't know what the fuck this was. Fucking stupid. Uh, Bray Wyatt was like playing with like, two Undertaker toys. You could see his hands, but he was, like, hiding his face under a desk or some shit. And then uh, they showed a footage of Bray watching his promo from last week where he said the the winner of the Les- Lashley-Lesnar match should run or whatever. And then there's Uncle Howdy on the weather. And then uh, Bray Wyatt's a game show host. Says, can you keep a secret? And then they said that on the screen, like, two or three times or whatever. So I don't know what the hell's going on with this. Next up, we got another segment in the back with uh, Jimmy Uso, Paul Heyman, and Sol Sokoa. Heyman shows Jimmy a text from Roman and says he will be on SmackDown next week. And he tells Jimmy if he doesn't deal with Jay tonight, then Reigns will deal with him next week. All right, next up, we got Karrion Cross versus Rey Mysterio. Uh, he's a company of a ring with, uh, with Scarlett, Karrion Cross. Uh, Karrion Cross powerbomb Ray into the corner. Cross sent Ray to the outside, delivering a gut buster. And then Ray hit a Hurricane Rana back in the ring for a two count. And then Ray went for the 619. Scarlett was like leaning over the top rope. And then when, as soon as Ray bounced off the rope, she like flipped in or whatever. And then the ref went to go check on her. And then Ray. Uh, and then Dominic shows up when he went for the 619 and he pulled Ray out of the ring and then he got back in the ring uh, Ray did and Karrion Cross hit him with the right hand and he locked in the cross jacket and then after the match confrontation between Ray Mysterio and Dominic Dom tells Ray to get up and be a man he, did, he just pretty much shoved him like multiple times and he Looked like Ray was going to do something, but he just stared at him. He just kept getting more pissed off the more he kept pushing him in the back. So they're probably, probably going to build maybe next week or the week after. He's going to punch him out. Got to be getting sick of Dominic. Motherfucker went to jail and shit. <laughs> uh, next up, we got the last segment, main event segment. Jimmy Uso. Jimmy tells Jay if he isn't at the arena, he knows he's watching. He says he knows Jay is torn and hurting Oos. Jimmy says he is always there for Jay and says he needs to be here tonight, Oos. Jimmy says people have been saying that there's cracks in the bloodline. They have a KO and Sami Zayn problem. And then somebody in a hoodie shows up. It's Sami Zayn in the ring. And he tells Jimmy he isn't here to fight. Tells him, he tells Jimmy he needs to talk to him. And every time he uses the word brother, it breaks his heart because that's what. He was to him. Uh, Sami Zayn says uh, Jimmy had his back from day one and saw the value in him. He says without him, there would be no Sami Uso. There would be no getting Usi, feeling Usi. Then the crowd starts chanting Usi. And then he says, but he was hurt when Jimmy attacked him at the Royal Rumble with no hesitation. And then Jimmy calls Sammy selfish and says, you were the one who made the choice to hit Roman with a chair. Says Zayn stepped on him and Jay. He did what he had to do for his family. 
And then Sami Zayn cuts him off and says, family doesn't make you test your loyalty, jump hoops, or manipulate Jay. And Roman did that to Jay Uso. And then uh, they show camera shot in the crowd, Jay Uso standing in the crowd. And then Sami Zayn says he will ensure the bloodline comes crumbling down. He says, Jimmy, you don't have to go down with the ship. Uh, and Jimmy starts firing off red, uh, fires off his right hands, starts punching Sammy, and then Jay heads to the ring. He stops like the barricade, and then Jimmy calls for Jay, get in here, Oos, help me out. And then, uh, as this was going on, Sammy Zayn hit a haluba kick on Jimmy Uso, and then Sammy Zayn and Jay just had to stare down at each other outside the ring. And then he left through the crowd. Solo comes out. So, yeah, that was it. Pretty decent SmackDown. Yeah, it's something else besides the Bloodline stuff. So, it was interesting with Dom. I don't know what they're doing with Bray Wyatt. It's fucking weird. I don't know what's going on. It's going to feud with Lashley. And then, yeah, so that was pretty much it for SmackDown. See ya.